WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Mohegan Sun Pocono. It's the New River, 105 and 103.5. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout, as I always am, Sunday nights, 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing your regional artists, doing your own original material from right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Hanging out with D.C. Taylor. D.C., good to see you, buddy. Yes, you too, Alan. How's it going? Good to see you. I'm doing just fine. And Mitch, our intern, is here. Mitch, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Thanks for having me on. Mitch from Central Jersey. Yes. Made that very clear to us a couple <laughs> yes. weeks ago. Yes. Good to see you again. Hey, listen, folks, we, uh, we've had so many guests in on the show over the last couple of weeks. And next week, uh, Patrick McGlynn should be with us in the studio. So there'll be more guests. So this is kind of our more traditional show, which we normally do, where it's just, you know, basically mo- usually just DC and I, and we're just playing a lot of tunes. And so that's the kind of show we've got for you tonight. We're going to be debuting some brand new music during the program. And, you know, just having a good time playing you some great tunes from Northeastern Pennsylvania, including Patrick McGlynn, who will be with us on Tuesday night as part of Music on the Menu Live. So if you want to hang out with us at Breakers on Tuesday, come up and see us 7 o'clock live on the radio, live on the Internet, live on stage. Our friends from the weekend will be with us. We'll have Music on the Menu T-shirts, which I saw DC was sporting the other night at Party on the Patio, which That's is right. pretty cool. Yeah, thanks. I like that DC I, Music I, on the Menu T-shirt. I, I do. I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> uh, so I come up here the other night, Mitch, to Party on the Patio, and I swing by the studio to see DC, and he's wearing one of the Music on the Menu shirts. And I was like, hey, nice shirt. And he's like, I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got the connections. You want, a, you want a shirt, Mitch? We'll get you one next I week. would love a shirt. Yeah, all right, we'll get you a Music on the Menu shirt. And if you're coming up to the show... Come up and see me, and we'll give one to you, too, if we like you. Anyway, here's Patrick <laughs> McGlynn with Tennessee Walton. Like she's in my arms Life treats me cold One thing keeps me warm Sometimes I hear that small voice in my ear Then my troubles are few I can just disappear
Hey, this is Mike Miz, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the River. I remember waking up each morning next to you, and I remember falling, but I don't remember when. We were staying in that big house by the water. Felt like we were married Even though I never been And somewhere along the way I think I fell in love And somewhere along the way I felt okay right where I was And somewhere on those country roads I think I told a lie Please don't say it's over Please don't say goodbye I remember sunlight burning Off that morning fog And I remember feeling Like I never want to leave And I remember moonlight shining Off your pretty I remember saying This is all I'd ever need And somewhere along the way I think I fell in love And somewhere along the way I felt okay right where I was But somewhere on those country roads I think I Don't say it's over Please don't say goodbye There's something in the evergreens In the early morning dew There's something in the falling leaves And it makes me think of you I'm stuck in late September dreams And I need them to come true I just can't help it I'm so in love with you Beside the fire, and I gently kissed your face. I was holding you so close, like now I wish I could. The dog was sleeping at her feet, and everything was in its place. Somewhere along the way, I think I fell in love. Somewhere along the way I felt okay right where I was But somewhere on those country roads I think I told a lie So please don't say it's over Please don't say it's over Please don't say it's over Miz here on Music on the Menu on the River song called Please Don't Say Goodbye from his record a year ago today, which really is one of my favorite albums of 2018. might be my favorite album of 2018. We've still got uh, four or five months to go, I guess. Six months even. Five months? Yeah. Six months? Uh, August, September, October, November, December. Five months. Five months to go. (laughs) So thanks for the math help, DC. Yeah, appreciate Uh, it. Anytime. 
It's a, it's a great record. And yes, uh, halfway th- more than halfway through the year, it's probably my favorite record of the year. Before that, Patrick McGlynn with a song called Tennessee Walton. And of course, Patrick will be with us at Music on the Menu live at Breakers Tuesday at 7 o'clock. We're going to premiere a brand new song for you now from Ed Rendazzo. Ed has been a fixture on this show musically for about 10 years now because that is exactly when Ed started recording music. He has performed with us at the shows at Breakers. He's done Music on the Menu Live. I think he did one or two with me when I was doing it down at the Woodlands. And whenever he sends us brand new music, um, it's always exciting. He's been working on a new project for a while now. And the record's going to come out in the fall. The album's title is called Who's That Man? Collected Songs 2008 to 2018. So it's sort of Ed's 10th anniversary record of his recording with Brett Alexander at Saturation Acres. And he's been kind enough to give us the very first track. So world premiere here, brand new music from Edmund Dazzo, a song called Soldier, Soldier. Rob Husty from Three Imaginary Boys, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the River.
Three imaginary boys here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Battle Call. And before that, brand new music from Ed Rendazzo, a song called Soldier, Soldier. This is Music on the Menu on the River. We're going to take a quick break now. We'll be back in a flash with more music, so stick around. Hi, this is Richie from Rock Street Music. For the past 33 years, Rock Street has been a virtual haven in any PA for all things music. Sound and lighting equipment, sound technicians, musical instruments, amplifiers, music lessons. Rock Street Music offers it all. It can help make your show sound great and help put the perfect instrument in your hand or even help it teach you how to play. The legendary Rock Street Music, Main Street, Pittston. Your one-stop shop for all things music. Where pro shop and beginners come to learn. Hi, this is Mitch Kornfeld from the Woodlands Inn and Resort. Summer weather is finally here, so treat yourself and take a time out on life. You deserve a staycation right here in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. The Woodlands is less than a mile from the casino and is minutes from all the natural beauty northeastern Pennsylvania is famous for. Pack a small suitcase and drive less than an hour and enjoy first-class amenities and second-to-none service that the Woodlands offers. Enjoy two restaurants, Japanese Shogun and Crescenzo's Pizza Bar. Dance the night away at our famous Evolution Nightclub or listen to live music at the Streamside Bandstand. Close your eyes on the Skyview Deck Bar and listen to the sounds of our breathtaking waterfall. Check out our website, thewoodlandsresort.com, for a great room package. Listen, summer's finally here, and you deserve to chill. So come on down to the Woodlands in Wilkesbury. Eat, drink, dance, and play at the casino. We have a staycation waiting for you. Hi, this is Chris Jones, local entrepreneur and founder of Special Guest App. Are you a working musician looking for more gigs? Are you interested in gaining more exposure, building your audience, and discovering new venues? If so, then Special Guest App is for you. Special Guest can help you find shows right here in Northeast PA, the Lehigh Valley, State College, and beyond, and we make the process easy. No more haggling over performance fees, and you are guaranteed a quick and direct payment from the venues that we work with. And what's even better is that Special Guest takes no performance percentage fee from artists. We help you build a profile on our app. We help expose you and your music to more venues. And once booked, we help facilitate the entire booking process. As a working musician, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain by working with special guests. Are you a venue or an event planner and interested in streamlining the process of booking live entertainment? Special Guest is also for you. For more information, visit us at specialguestapp.com. Download our app on iOS devices or call one 877 talent all right, we're back here on Music on the Menu on the River. And you know, when we're hanging out here in the studio doing this show, DC and I, uh, usually in between breaks, talking about music and stuff, but we're also baseball fans. He was down at a Phillies game a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I was uh, at a Yankees game in Philadelphia about a month ago, and I was there again in New York on Wednesday with my son. Uh-huh. And Mitch is a Red Sox fan, so all our teams are having really good years. Yeah. yeah. And so we were just talking here a little bit about about baseball. The trading deadline was the other day, and you know what teams were making some moves. That's always exciting when your teams are in it. The day where you know the big trades go down. But talking about the walk up song, which didn't really exist, I don't think, until maybe the late '90s. I don't remember this when I was a kid in baseball at all. But at some point, I don't know, about 20 years ago, maybe every major league ball player has a song that they play over the PA system at their home games when they're about to walk up to the plate. I wonder if it started after, uh, who was it, uh, Charlie Sheen in the Major League or something had a wild thing? When he so, came out. Yeah. yeah. And then Mariano Rivera had Enter Sandman. And, and, uh, and so, you know, so pitchers have some, too. Relief, right. relief pitchers. Yeah. And they used to play Rocket Man, I think, when Roger Clemens was coming out for a while. Right, but, yeah. but the walk-up song, the first one I really remember was Paul O'Neill from the Yankees with Bob O'Reilly from The Who. That nice. one, and Jeter used to have uh, you know, hip-hop music. So the, the guys get to pick it, mm-hmm. and it's kind of cool. And so one of the things I like to ask people, and I just asked these cats here, what would yours be? So, DC, what would your walk-up song be if you were playing for the Philadelphia Phillies at Citizens Bank Park? <laughs> get a load of this. Dude, that is so punk. That is so metal. <laughs> that is so you. Really I mean, intense for a walk-up. Song. It, well, his, his <laughs> scare the heck out of everybody. His on-air moniker 
years ago was Destroyer. Yeah. When we were we were both down the dial a little bit at the time. So that is that is so perfect for you. Static X Destroyer. And it, it has that, you know, hey, I'm coming. You know, uh, yeah. it, 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 it's good. Mitch, uh, your turn. You're on deck, man. If yeah. you were paneling for the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park, walking up to the plate, what would you want? Well, this came a few years, a little more than a few years before I was even born, but it's still a timely song. Bill Collins, in the air. Nice call. One of my favorites. It's kind of got that haunting, foreboding feeling to it. It's like, you know, the presence. Like, hey, I'm coming. Like, like, just like DC. That's nice. I like that. I like that. (laughs) All right. All right, Alan. Your song. If I were playing for the New York Yankees at Yankee Stadium (laughs) and I was walking up to the batter's box, I would want the intro to Dr. Feel Good from Motley Crue blasted through the (laughs) field. Because to me, that is like, I am coming. I am going to do some damage, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to hit this ball harder than you have ever seen a baseball hit in your life. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our little summer, midsummer salute to baseball here on Music on the Menu right. on the River. Let's get this show rolling again with uh, some brand new music from Tom Flannery and Brett Alexander. A song called Rolling On. Took the car your daddy bought you After your time away What set it all in motion No one would ever see Headed down the turnpike To any place out Searching for a feeling Like a taste in your mouth Running from Jesus in a black old mobile, she shimmies over 60, but he got it for a steal. To your sister, she's reborn again, says she's glad you're gone. You moved into your bedroom with another ex con But you're rolling on, but you're rolling in, chasing away the child in sin. But you're growing up, but you're growing old. Tired of doing what you told Tired of doing what you told Your brother went to grad school For the lack of a plan And to avoid coming back here For as long as he can They've been whispering about your mother And the preacher for a while Guess figuring if she gets there Best do it in style Excuses, starts blaming FDR. Enough meat in the freezer to outlast them all. Got the Ten Commandments mounted on the wall. But you're rolling on, and you're rolling on, but you're rolling in, and you're rolling in. Chasing away the child in sin. But you're growing up, and you're growing on, but you're growing old, and you're growing old. Tired of doing what you're told. Tired of doing what you tell Find a bridge and peer on over Clutching a roadside for a clover Just another Irish rover That they send you on their phones It's on heavy In the morning light The same empty bottles And the same old fight Move to the airport And you fall into the bar 
Wondering how you managed to ever get this far All their eyes like slits, only open on a day Looking for their loves, not their thoughts and their prayers But you're rolling on, but you're rolling on Marciotta here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Stick in the Mud. And before that, Tom Flannery and Brett Alexander with a song called Rolling On. We just confirmed earlier this week that Shannon will be with us at Music on the Menu Live in September. So the September 4th, save the date. She's sent us some great new music over the past year or so. Uh, she's been a fixture here on the program for a long time. And so we're looking forward to having her Thanks. Next month, that music on the menu live. You know, DC, I want to mention the Steamtown Music Awards because we're probably going to have some of the folks in later in September that uh, are presenting it. Maybe we'll have Joe Caviston in mm -hmm. and uh, and Wiggy, who's won the Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah. I'd like to have him in to talk about all the great work he's done at Sound Investments over the years. But I also, you know, want to address something real quickly here. The 
we were nominated for a couple of things. Um, the show was nominated and I was nominated for radio personality. And I haven't asked anyone to vote for me right? on my Facebook or on the Music on the Menu Facebook. And some people have been asking me, well, Alan, why aren't you... Why are you engaged in this, you know, little, and I just can't do it. You know, I can't ask people to vote for me to win an award. If I, if I was, or if I was run for Congress or something, you believe I'd be, I believe better, you know, but you right. bet I'll be asking you to vote for me because sure. I might be trying to change the world or change the community or something. Right. But to have that, you know, to be asking people, I mean, look, I got, I got 2,000 friends on Facebook, 5,000 friends on music on the menu. We've had 900,000 followers on the river. It would probably be a piece, it would probably be a couple of posts and it would be boom, you know, there you go. Right. And I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. My thought, I say you put the link to the thing up there, you know, to the page, like to the website, wherever people can go and vote. You say, there's some voting going on. I implore you to vote for the people you think are best. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't even done that. You know, I just, I just, I just, you know, and I, you know, I won the best uh, newspaper columnist uh, seven times uh -huh. uh, when I was at the Times Leader, and that was before social media, and so people actually had to, you know, write something down and, and mail it and in. Mail it in, yeah. And so it kind of meant a lot to me because it was a lot of effort to sure. go in oh, at yeah. the time, yep. and so I've got all those hanging on my wall at home. So. And, hallway going down to the basement. Yeah. And so maybe that's a part of it too, the Lifetime Achievement Award that they gave me a couple of years ago. I mean, you know, that I, I didn't have to, that just came out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, they, they presented that to me as a sort of a surprise thing. And so I, I guess maybe I just feel like let, let the young kids have it or something. I don't yeah, know, yeah, maybe. you know, and I, I really would rather put my effort into putting together a great show every week with the guests that we've had in and the music that we add constantly than uh, worrying about that. Mm -hmm. So that, but at the same time, uh, all the guys that are nominated are friends of mine. A lot of them are having a lot of fun with it with each other. Uh -huh. And um, when it's time for the big awards night up at Scranton in the middle of September, I'm always there sure. and we're always drinking together and laughing. Yeah. And so I just wanted to get my position on it out there to people so they didn't think that I, I didn't care about it or something because right. I certainly think it's really cool. And, you know, some, I noticed some musicians are the same way, mm -hmm. you know, there's five bands, there's five guys nominated for best guitarist and two of them are asking people to vote for them and three of them don't. Right. You know, right. right. Another thing, as far as radio, I, I guess I've always still see myself as a writer or a journalist with a radio show. And some of the other nominees are on the air for three, four hours a day five days a week, mm -hmm. you know, someone like yourself, DC, mm -hmm. no, I mean, you're, you're a DJ, right? You know, I'm a radio host. I come in and, you know, work really hard. I'm putting together a good show every week for, for our audience. And mm -hmm. I think what we do here is unique and, and I'm proud of it. But, um, being in that category also, I feel a little bit, uh, maybe it's not really for me. Okay. <laughs> and so, All right. Uh, and so have fun with it, everybody, and we'll see you all in Steamtown. But I wanted to explain that to people because people are like, Alan, why aren't you, why aren't you competing for this? I'm like, I, I can't compete for an award that's a voting award. You right. Know? When I run for Congress, which I probably will do someday, uh, I'll, I'll be coming at you. <laughs> all right. You have my vote. Well, thanks, Mitch. I appreciate that. Let's play one from uh, Patrick McGlynn, who will be with us on Tuesday at Breakers. Again, music on the menu live. Song called 15. We used to hang outside of a grocery store We were raised on fuzz and power cords When we would spend our Halloween Smashing pumpkins on the street
night chasing down a dream Some teenage Americana queen Something magic in the way it fell Back in the alley Raising hell Stereo in an empty soda can Sirens, everybody ran. I guess I don't mind being a little 
Neil Castro here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called OK Let's Sing. Brand new music from Neil just came out in 2018. And before that, Patrick McGlynn, a song called 15. We're going to take a quick break now. We'll be back in a flash with more music, so stick around. Hi, this is Chris Jones, local entrepreneur and founder of Special Guest App. Are you a working musician looking for more gigs? Are you interested in gaining more exposure, building your audience, and discovering new venues? If so, then Special Guest App is for you. Special Guest can help you find shows right here in Northeast PA, the Lehigh Valley, State College, and beyond, and we make the process easy. No more haggling over performance fees, and you are guaranteed a quick and direct payment from the venues that we work with. And what's even better is that Special Guest takes no performance percentage fee from artists. We help you build a profile on our app. We help expose you and your music to more venues. And once booked, we help facilitate the entire booking process. As a working musician, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain by working with special guests. Are you a venue or an event planner and interested in streamlining the process of booking live entertainment? Special Guest is also for you. For more information, visit us at specialguestapp.com. Download our app on iOS devices or call one 877 talent Hi, this is Rich E. from Rock Street Music. For the past 33 years, Rock Street has been a virtual haven in any PA for all things music. Sound and lighting equipment, sound technicians, musical instruments, amplifiers, music lessons. Rock Street Music offers it all. You can help make your show sound great and help put the perfect instrument in your hands or even help it teach you how to play. The legendary Rock Street Music, Main Street Pittston. Your one-stop shop for all things music, where pro shop and beginners come to learn. Hi, this is Mitch Kornfeld from the Woodlands Inn and Resort. Summer weather is finally here, so treat yourself and take a time out on life. You deserve a staycation right here in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. The Woodlands is less than a mile from the casino and is minutes from all the natural beauty northeastern Pennsylvania is famous for. Pack a small suitcase and drive less than an hour and enjoy first-class amenities and second-to-none service that the Woodlands offers. Enjoy two restaurants, Japanese Shogun and Crescenzo's Pizza Bar. Dance the night away at our famous Evolution Nightclub or listen to live music at the Streamside Bandstand. Close your eyes on the Skyview Deck Bar and listen to the sounds of our breathtaking waterfall. Check out our website, thewoodlandsresort.com, for a great room package. Listen, summer's finally here, and you deserve to chill, so come on down to the Woodlands in Wilkesbury. Eat, drink, dance, and play at the casino. We have a staycation waiting for you. All right, we're back here on Music on the Menu on the River. Had a chance uh, to see the group 40 Pound Head perform about two weeks ago at a church bazaar. They were at the Exaltation of Holy Cross Bazaar in Hanover Township. I went down mm-hmm. with my kids, known those guys for a long time, and uh, they you know, did stories about them when they first got together as a band back in the late 90s, and they were with us at Concert for a Cause for all those years, so it was always great to see them. And they sounded great. You know, they were doing some Beatles songs. They ripped through Tom Petty, Running Down a Dream. And nice. It was really cool to, to see them out, uh, you know, entertaining a lot of people at a, a nice uh, festival like that. Here's one from 40 Pound Head. This one's called 196.
to stand my ground Too dumb to know any better Too bad I missed it all It's too bad I'm no good for you It's too bad I'm number one nine six It's too bad I'm no good for you It's too bad I'm number one nine six Pound head here on music on the menu on the river with a song called 196. Leaving now, as I always do, with the, the Badleys. And I'll, I'll share a little story here on the program. It's the first time we haven't had guests in in a while, so I have an opportunity to talk a little bit more tonight. I'm going to de- dedicate this one to uh, my mom. She passed away exactly three years ago on August 3rd. So it was three years ago on Friday. And, you know, we said goodbye to her on, on August 6th at uh, our church. And, um, I had a really wild experiences uh, earlier this week. I was um, driving through South wilkes Bear, where my mom and I lived when I was a little kid. And the apartment that she and I lived in for about five years, no one had lived in it in years. I, I drive by it frequently because it's on my way to pick up my kids. And there were construction workers coming in and out. And so I stopped and I saw that they were remodeling the apartment. And I, I explained to them that I used to live here when I was a young boy. And I asked if I could pop it inside or take a look inside. And they couldn't have been any nicer. They welcomed me in. Mm-hmm. And I literally walked around this apartment that I hadn't been in in about 40 years. Yeah. And uh, it was really a neat experience. I know so many people think, oh, that they'd like to do that someday. Or the house you grew up in. There's, there's a country song about it, the house that right. built me. And yeah. It's something that we all, I think, wonder what it would be like to do. And totally by chance... I, it was a Wednesday afternoon. I'm usually working Wednesday afternoon. I had a half day at work that day. Uh, the, just the chance that they were happened to be walking out as I was driving by, and I noticed that the front door was open. Mm-hmm. And it was really neat to go back and have a, a couple of memories of that time in my life. My mother was a single mom for about five years, so it was just her and I before she got remarried. It was a kind of our you and me against the world years. And, um, you know, she listened to the show all the time. You know, we've been down a listener for three years now. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday nights, she was usually tuning in. She always supported me in everything I did with my career, concert for a cause. She was always there. And so, um, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, send this one out to her tonight. I know she's still listening. This one's from the Badleys. It's called Thinking in Ways. We'll catch you next week. <laughs> Unencumber yourself from the details The whole thing's bought and paid for The box, the viewing, and one more ride Bought a plot, 
by some azaleas that never fell to impress in the brochure. See me off at sunset. I hope it's glorious outside. Choice of a couple of entrees. You'll meet some real characters, some even I haven't seen in a while. I'm not afraid. 